and uh, this is North Table Mountain and the surrounding communities. Simulating a wildfire is never easy, but it's something Darius Pico does every year. The string is to simulate the fire's edge. So this is the fire growth, so the fire's growing in this direction. The Arvada fire lieutenant says strings and toy cars have been the standard way to train for decades. You can order your resources and you just literally place them like, oh, we're here. But this adult sandbox has obvious limitations. Everybody really had to use their imagination, you know, and it's hard to teach when you're playing kind of make believe in a way, right? Because it, you know, it's not really showing you what's, what's happening. That's about to change. Uh, so here we are building the topography. Thanks to a new sandbox with some extra bells and whistles. So um, I'll be able to start a fire here on this lower left corner here, you'll see. It's called a sim table and it lets firefighters simulate a fire over any community in the state. Yep. They can change the wind or humidity and react to what would happen. You can really fine tune it to do what you want it to do. The toy trucks are now virtual. It'll actually take the apparatus and drive it per Google Maps over there. It's a big thing for sure. Brian Keating says 10 local counties will have access to the table, and they hope to use it for more than just training in the future. Um, it also can be used real time during an incident, so we can take it out, out to the site itself and we can model the incident and use that to help inform decisions. Quick decisions and cutting edge tech, they hope will save lives. Before we really just played in the sand with toys and cars and um, this takes it to the next level. So, you know, we had to use our imaginations and here we don't, this, this uh, changes it all for us. Now that sim table costs around $100,000, but the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office got it through a grant through Homeland Security late last year. And Sam, they may have received it just in time. According to Governor Polis, the Trump administration is now in the process of freezing this very type of grant to Colorado. So they certainly got it just in time and they're planning to, to do a lot of good with it. I can only imagine how much good they can do with it. Yeah. So who can who can use this? Yeah, so Jeff Coe, the sheriff's office out there, they'll actually have it in their building for folks to come use, but they can move it out to other agencies and the list is pretty exhaustive. Uh, because of the Homeland Security aspect of this, 10 nearby counties can use it. So from Boulder down to Littleton, all the way out to Elbert County, up into Clear Creek, Creek County, a big area that will have access to this. And they plan, they're already doing some of those trainings. Arvada trained more than 100 firefighters uh, a couple of weeks ago. So they're already starting to use this and obviously a lot of growth to come. I love that. Pretty Thank cool. you for bringing us that story. You Thank bet. you so much, Evan.